Oh. If you know my vlogs, you will have known that I had a little bit of a man, got a little bit upset. If you don't, I will insert a clip. Insert the clip. Yeah. Someone tweeted me this page, and I get I'm online, and I get like I kind of ask for it because this is my job people have just gone through all of my vlogs and all of my photos and just zoomed in on my boobs and screenshotted it and it's kind of creepy and it's just made me feel really crap about myself because um i don't know it's just made me feel like i'm flaunting it a bit and my boobs are literally like one of the things that i kind of like about my body i even struggle with my boobs because i think they're too big for my body yeah sometimes i wear vest tops and stuff and it shows it and sometimes i don't mind showing my boobs a little bit because I'm, I'm, I'm it makes me feel better and i have a lot of body issues but now it's like taking that kind of one thing that i felt a little bit confident about and made me feel kind of a bit like i'm sexualizing it I was telling a group of people about it and someone replied, well, if you don't like it, why post Why post it then? There's nothing for people to creep on if you don't post it. And I was thinking, I'm, that makes me feel like I'm kind of being a bit like asking for it. Because it's just made me feel really gross about myself, which is kind of poopy because I have a lot of body issues anyway. And the irony is, is um, I really struggled to get a bikini, as you guys have probably known, because I felt like it was too booby. And I'm kind of, I feel like a little bit of ashamed of showing my boobs because it makes me feel kind of like I'm asking for attention. But at the end of the day, if I want to show my boobs or not, that's not the problem. The problem is people creeping on you. But I just feel like from the conversation I had, it was made to feel like, well, don't post it if you're going to get upset about people getting attention. So basically what happened was that someone messaged Amelia. Did they message you? Yeah, they tweeted me and they were like, you want to check out this link and this link. I'm not going to say what it was because I don't want to give attention to that website. It's kind of a gross website. Um, it, it, it basically had a thread for loads of different YouTubers and I had one called Amelia Mandeville and her sexy cleavage or something like that. And it took you basically as a very adult website and it had a lot of photos and like clips and like crops on Amelia's boobs. Every single image or like vlog or like even at the background of the vlog if I've got, if I'm in a bikini. Or when you were like swimming. Yeah, when I'd be swimming. They've literally just taken any, of, any clip and zoomed in on just my boobs and like zoomed in closer in the next clip and then zoomed in even closer. It's, it was weird, weirdly weird, very, very weird. And obviously it was upsetting because we don't do that kind of content, obviously not, but we're just creating our uh, content following our day-to-day -day lives and um, this person's kind of made an adult website out of it. Yeah. Um, and it was really upsetting and Amelia got upset because I just found it a bit creepy and I found like it took, you know, my boobs, uh, I, I do have boobs, I never used to but I do now and I actually kind of like them and sometimes, yeah, I, I'm i at the beach and I'm wearing a bikini and you can see my boobs but it kind of took something from me being like, try and enjoy your body and like your body Amelia to being like, oh my god, now that's another thing I'm going to be conscious about when I'm posting my body online. What you guys don't know and probably don't see is that Amelia has been struggling with like feeling confident of her body for a very very long time and actually one of the things that she was starting to feel proud about was her boobs yeah. and then this happens and she instantly feels really uncomfortable and feels like she shouldn't have them and if I'm honest it was a really sickly thing to see. A lot of you guys replied on my vlog and there was a really good discussion going on about it and I want to talk more about that. Um, it all led from a conversation I had with some people where I told them about this website and jokingly, bear in mind it was a joke, but they said, well, you know, don't post your boobs then and, or, you know, if there's nothing to post, uh, if, if there's nothing there, there's nothing for people to creep on and I think more than the thread the self, that upset me the most because it's almost a... Uh, what a lot of you guys were talking about, it's almost like a form of victim blaming. It, it's like if someone's wearing a short skirt and they get attention and then someone's like, they're like, no, I don't want attention. And someone's like, well, you do because you're wearing a short skirt. It's like that sort of thing. Yeah. It's, uh, I think it's sad that your body has to be sexualized just because of the way your body is. Literally. And I think you can 
wear what you want to wear. It's taken us a while to realise, but actually it's the person who's collected all those images, it's their own problem, it's not Amelia's problem, that she's just been like dressing every day and occasionally you can see her boobs. So. Yeah, I think, I think it's a shame because obviously me and Grace are online and we're going to have a wide audience of people. We don't know what goes online stays online and that is a real fact and you guys, you know, just remember what goes online will never come offline people will like screenshot it people will i've had that you know use it for the weirdest yeah. of reasons and you, you have disgusting. no control over that but that doesn't mean it's okay and i think it's less about blaming the people who post the photos and it's more about blaming even though you can't do anything the, the, the people that are doing this celebrities have this every single day of their life and i know that they're celebrities and they are aware they have fans their life's in the media, but it doesn't mean it's okay for people to stalk them, for people to creep them. Just because they're famous doesn't mean that they're human rights stock. And a lot of people might be thinking, oh yeah, but the reason that's happening to you guys is because you have a YouTube channel and that's your job and you're putting yourselves out there. But the reality of it is that just uploading the odd few photos to Instagram, the same thing can happen to you. And so I just think we wanted to let you guys know that you need to be careful what you put out there, but also don't let those people win. Like, my my situation is so minor to what's happened to so many other people, but I think it's just really important to not victim blame. Even, you know, the conversation I had with the people I was telling, uh, they were joking, and it was a minor joke. Yeah, it's just it's just they had that lack of understanding, and they thought I was finding it funny, but it's, it's all about, I think, people... It's okay for people not to understand, but if they're being educated and then still don't understand, that's when it's like, well, that's a bit of a shame. Yeah, no, I, I think, I'm sorry that I had such an emotional vlog and I really appreciated your comments. So let's keep a discussion going down in the comments on this video. And let's just remember that everybody is beautiful and it doesn't have to be a sexual object all the time. Literally. Um, I think I'm from this, I'm gonna still post photos, what I want, otherwise it's just gonna defeat me and it's just gonna play on my head. I already have body confidence issues and I will just have more if I do that, so. I hope you enjoyed this video. <laughs> I hope it was As semi education it was a bit of a weird one. We just kind of wanted to discuss how we are feeling right now because this is our channel and sometimes it's important to share the discussion with you guys and know that if anything's happened like this to you or you're feeling a bit weird or you're worried about what you post online, there's a lesson to learn, be learned by all of us. Yeah, and this isn't just for like just girls, it's for everyone, it can happen to anyone. It's just, you know, if you think something's not okay, it's okay to say, yeah, that makes me feel uncomfortable, rather than thinking, oh no, it's my fault because yeah. I wore a short skirt, or it's yeah. my fault because you can see my cleavage it's in that not. photo, so yeah. And I suppose the reason that we were so shocked about the whole thing was because... It's, we, half of it was so innocent. Yeah, so innocent. But also, we're YouTubers and we are aware that whatever we put out online is out there forever. And yet I, we still didn't... I don't know, I just didn't, didn't think, think about that. For that. Or didn't even think about that possibility. I suppose we're quite naively minded, maybe. I think it's because we've been very lucky with the audience we've had yeah. over these last couple of years. So we never thought that something like that would happen. Like, could create, like, could know. exploit basically your body online. Yeah, it's just very weird, but you know. But if anything ever happens like that to you, remember it's not because of you, it's because of the creepy minds of other people. Yeah. But also be aware. Thank you. See you soon, guys. Bye-bye.